We're going to show you and talk about yes. Postino Sevilla High School Senior High School. So, 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 let's go and turn around. Hello, Hello mga bra. So we're here in front of the SBM room. So So we're going to interview the teachers of Bustina Sevilla High School. So let's go. establish yung pangalan niya as Justino Sevilla High School. Before kasi, ito ay Manga Hakutod uh, High School. Barangay pa siya noon. Tapos yung unang uh, classroom na ginamit ay doon pa sa elementary. Bago pa ibinigay ni Don Justino Sevilla yung lupa para sa Manga Hakutod. At kalaunan, from Manga Hakutod, uh, Barangay High School, ito ay naging Gustino sa Sir, nung ano, nung binigay ko yung lupa nito, gano'n po siya kalala? Actually, mahaba at uh, malaki siya. Meron pang sinabi na meron pang ibinigay na iba pang stakeholders, kagaya ni, ni Tita Flor, Tabitin, yung doon sa agriculture na ginagamit ngayon ng senior high school, yon ay handog na lupa ni Pisa Flor. Pero ito ay one-fourth lamang ng laki ng kabuang lupa na ibinigay ni Don Justino Sevilla. Sir, um, as a teacher po ni Saustino, um, ano po yung sa tingin nyo na nakakaangat sa Justino kung, kung ikukumpara po sa ibang school? Okay, siguro bago ko sagutin yun, uh, hindi mo na as a teacher. Siguro nung as a student before, kasi dito ako nag-aaral, nakita ko na yung mga guro sa Ustino Sevilla High School. Noon pa man, sa Division of Pampanga, ay malakas na at matunog na yung kanilang pangalan uh, bilang mga mautusay at magagaling na mga guro. At nakita ko, napatunayan ko dahil nakasama ko na sila ngayon, napatunayan ko na hindi lamang pala ito sabi-sabi at nalaman ko na talagang tunay na napakahusay at napakagaling ng mga guro dito. Siguro yun ang pinakapuso ng Sino Sevilla High School, yung husay, talento at galing ng mga nagtuturo at mga guro sa school hang ito. Oh, second question. 
So, June 2016, yung start ng senior high school. And around nasa 300 plus lang yung population naman for the first school. So, ano po, ano, ano po yung mga student available sa senior high school? Uh, I just want to add pala dun sa kanina. Dun sa 2016 na 300 plus ang population. Ngayon, so far, after two years, our population is 1,000. So, imagine yung increase. So, palagay ko, since nakikita nila na maganda yung offerings natin, that's why we have an increasing amount of offerings. Ano po yung mga available students ng um, Stima Sibilya High School and Stima High School? Okay, so, kamukha naman ang sinabi ko kanina, we have two tracks, the academic track and the technical vocational. For the academic tracks, we offer three strands. We have the STEM strand, which don't come belong, the ABM strand for business management, and the humanities strand for social sciences. As for TPL, we have the food processing, uh, computer, information, communication technology, or ICT. Uh, we also have the EIM and the beauty meal. So ma'am, uh, para sa inyo, ano po yung importance ng k to sa mga bata po? Okay. So, according sa mga graduates na uh, before, uh, di ba dati 16 years lang yung ating basic education. Ngayon naging 18 na basic education. Uh, and ang nakikita kong advantage nito, after you graduate for, compare with yung dati, dati kasi pag nag-graduate ng for fourth year high school, ang age ng estudyante nasa 16 lang. So kung 16 years old siya at hindi na siya mag-push uh, through ng college, ang tendency na babakante siya ng dalawang taon kasi hindi sila nakakahanap ng trabaho at the age of 16, dahil minors pa sila. So maghihintay pa sila ng mag i Di kamukha ngayon for senior high school, uh, pag nag-graduate sila ng grade 12, 18 years old na sila. Kung hindi sila magka-college, pwede na sila mag-venture na maghanap ng trabaho. Ngayon, through our technical vocational, tinuturuan rin kayo for entrepreneurship. So kung hindi man sila maghanap ng trabaho, pwede sila mismo na mag-venture na so, through their own business. The last question po, why do we need to choose Stilo Sibilla High School para pasukan sa senior high school. Okay. So I do believe that Stilo Sibilla High School is one of the biggest school not only in Araya but in the whole of So imagine the number of population na meron tayo. So siguro naman hindi tayo lalaking ganun yung population kung hindi maganda yung nare-receive nilang feedback na sa mga estudyante. So we are continually growing our population so the reason why we have a knock um, increase in population ay dahil palagay ko maganda yung binibigay ng students. So, kaya for senior high school, upcoming students, those who work to students with their eyes. What's up, bra? So we're here at Agri Farm. We're going to tour you the um, senior high school buildings and rooms. Papunta na po kami nyan sa mga room where in nandun yung EIM, which is I ICT, and yun lang dalawang sections. Dalawang strand. Yeah. 
And meron silang kada isang stride, meron silang dalawang section which is uh, they compose of 70 plus students. Yeah. Those are the TVL sections, yung deck box. Yan po yung anong room ay anong stand to EAM which is puro lalaki then EIM section B ayun na po si Okay, we're here now at the second floor. The sun is smiling. It's too hot, but it's okay. At least di umuulan. I see. Okay, just may natutuloy. Wait, how Di ba ipapas for forward naman ito? Ito po yung ICT. Ano pa pasok sa room nila? Happy Teacher's Day po. Yan po yung mga buildings na ongoing pa po. This is the SHS building. Which is composed of 3,000 students, di ba? Yan. I see. We're now here at the under... under. We're now here at the under construction's building of SHS. So, as of now, there are three finished buildings and one is still <laughs> under construction. So, I earn. Chiran. Again. So, here's the under construction building and that's the covered court. We asked the construction workers na January daw sila nag-umpisang gawin yung mga buildings dito sa Agri. That's estimated daw na matatapos to ng December. Oh, oh, oh. 